Well, the government's exploring ways to crack down on gangs, including seizing their assets, as pressure mounts to stop the recent surge of gang-related shootings in Auckland. The National Party's eyeing up Australian methods like banning gang gatherings and insignia. But experts say making gangs less visible doesn't drive down crime. Isabel Ewing reports. Broken glass frightened residents what's believed to be another gang shooting in Auckland, prompting politicians into some very early election campaign talk. Next year, if we're ready, if we if people accept that we're ready to govern and they're going to give us the chance to do that, we're going to come with a much tougher approach to gangs. National, every time they want to get elected to government, just kind of bring out this tough on crime, macho view of the world. It has failed for five decades. The ongoing gang turf war links back to the shooting of Killer B's boss. Josh Masters in 2019 by his friend, tribesman enforcer Okasetino Tai, paralysing Masters and souring the gang's relations. Tai was denied parole just before the renewed tensions erupted, renewing political debate on gangs too. The way that organised crime operates is changing and we have to change with it. ACT accusing the PM of talking up gun reform on her US trip as gang shootings erupted at home. She often believes saying the right thing is as good as doing the right thing. And political pot shots that do nothing to keep our community safer or support our police. Western Australia has introduced police powers to dismantle gangs, including jail terms for gang members meeting up and banning the wearing of patches in public. If Mark Mitchell had his way, that'd be Nationals' policy. It's something that's worn as a symbolic gesture by those gangs to intimidate and, and put fear into members of the public. But experts say Aussies' gangs' measures have not seen crime rates go down. Anyone who's seeing them as a simple panacea, a silver bullet to our issues, is mistaken and hasn't looked at the issue closely enough. Police are already able to seize luxury cars and cash from gangs, and the government's looking to strengthen that law to target organised crime figures who benefit financially. Uh, targeting gangs kind of where it hurts the most, in their, in their pockets, but also disrupting um, their activities as far as we can. Hints from the government at hitting gangs in the pocket, but no commitment on when. And this message from the police minister to Auckland residents hearing gunfire in their street. Please get in touch with the police or contact Crime Stoppers. This is National positioning itself ahead of the election to appear to be tough on crime while painting Labour as being too soft, despite National still working on its policy. But this political squabble is no help for Aucklanders at the front line being told to simply call the cops if they hear shots. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.